for answering to my YouTube channel, please, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe. I see this. So may God bless you in Jesus' name, inshallah. And for those of you that are subscribed, I pray may God grant you your desire. This year in the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Fans, straight to the point, let's say the rock. Today, we are talking about David Doe. David Doe just lost his lovely son. He find a delicate to the gold hands of death. Oh, my God. He find may your gentle soul rest in a, in perfect peace in Jesus' name, amen. And for David Doe and Shema, I pray may God Almighty in heaven give you the heart, the courage, and the strength to overcome this uh, tragedy in your family in the name of jesus amen so first today we are talking about um he finds death like this prophet that just came aside to let us know that he warned david Doe years ago that his son is going to die in the cold hands of blood of death sorry so like uh many people are saying why did david Doe go to this pastor why did he went go uh, listening to this pastor and this pastor said he has been trying always to reach david Doe. he was not able to reach david Doe, so he have to come to the social media to announce this kind of something so, like fans, everybody have their own opinion to say. Like me, <laughs> my own opinion is this. So, me, I'm not happy with the prophet. Yes, I'm not happy at all. So, everybody, you can leave your own comment in the comment section and tell me what you think about those things. Because me, as you, uh, I believe that my God is omnipresent. I don't believe that you be a Christian, you are the best. You being a Muslim, you are the best. You being a traditionalist, you are the best. I've read the Bible very well. God is omnipresent. He's present everywhere. Anywhere you call him, he answer. You see you that is going to church, that pray every morning and night. Huh? A sinner that does not believe in God, if you pray, God also answer their prayer. Don't let anybody deceive you. We are all children of God. He said we are all his children. God answer all prayers. All you have to do is beg for your forgiveness of sins. He will accept you. God answer all prayers. So you see, these pastors, I'm not against him coming out to say what he say. But I'm against him coming, in, coming out in social media on the very day that David o lost his son. Coming out to say, I told you years back ago. No, this is not the right time. Like this is not the right time for this prophet to come outside to let us to, to remember how that this is what he said years ago. Like you, you, um, we human beings, we take many things a lot for granted. We overlook a lot of things that way. Things that are serious, we overlook them. Imagine a prophet coming outside to tell you that your child will die and you just went ahead without even, without even doing anything. Like I believe those days when somebody tell you that, ah, something will keep person. You say, eh, they will hold that person. What did you say? This word you say is strong. Those days, the words of the man, they are very strong. If you say something that you are not supposed to say, they will hold you. You see these days, people will say, nothing will happen. Nothing will happen and things are happening. I believe you to be a prophet of God. I believe you to be a pastor or whatever you are. When God give you vision, when God give you the audacity to go into my future, because nobody can go and see into my future, because it's only God that can see into my future. For you to go and see into my future, when you are not a witch and wizard that is dragging my destiny, you went and God showed you my future. I believe that God will also give you the power to cancel any evil thing you see. And I believe for God to make you a prophet, to show you people vision, is for you to pray fast and cancel those things that will happen. It doesn't mean that you have to tell me. Yes, this is what many people don't know. If you are my fan, you are my subscriber, I'm telling you now. Because when I heard this pastor talking, I was a little bit angry. I got angry when he said, a more avoca coming. You said the first one. This is another one coming up again. What kind of vision is God showing you? Is it only vision of people that is going to die? People that will not survive? Some people are just seeing so, so negative things. Can't you pray to God to show you positive things? Must you see negative things about people? What kind of vision is that? So, I think it's hard time that they don't go and meet this pastor. This avoc that he's seeing in 2023, since God can show you the video uh, destiny, can show you the video future, please let him give you the power to broke those visions you are seeing now. Let him just give you the power because it should not come to pass. God made you a prophet. God gave you power. People are taking this Christianity into another level. That's why you see many people are running away from Christianity these days. When you are a prophet... Like Moses that carried the whole problem of Israel on his head. He was doing the prayer and working everything on his own. 
He did not pack the whole Israelites to die for him. He did it on his own. That's why you are a prophet. When God gives you position, let me talk to this prophet that they come outside in social media and be announcing people uh, prophecy to wishes and wizards, to evil people, to, man to use it to manipulate against them. And they say, God said, I said it, it has come to pass. No, you did not say it. You did not, it did not come to pass. It was the evil people that used your vision to manipulate against the innocent soul. When God gives you vision, pray in your house, inside your room, pray and cancel. Immediately you dream because vision is dream. It's not God is coming to tell you, I said, my son, my son, I said, it is long gone. When God wake people and say, my son, my son, my beloved son, I say unto you, is the, since Jesus Christ came, my son, my son is not happening again. It's true vision. It's true dreams. Dream, visions are true dreams. Prophecy are true dreams. So when God showed you, when you woke up immediately, pray, cancel, bind, and reject. It is done. By the time you bring it to social media for the public to know, it has become manipulation. It is manipulation. Your prophecy that God gave to you is for you to pray for it. God showed you because that person, maybe there is something blocking them that they cannot see their vision. Some people sleep, they, they cannot remember their dream. God gave you this prophecy. God gave you this vision for this person. You have to pray. You have to cancel. You have to bind it for them. That's why you are a prophet. It does not make it for you to come to the social media to tell the enemies for them to use this prophecy to manipulate against the innocent one that cannot pray. You have the power to pray. You have God has given you, making, bringing you close to God. That's why God is showing you this prophecy. Now, God showed you this prophecy. What did you do with this prophecy? Did you bind it? Did you cancel it? Did you reject it? No, you were waiting for the person to come to you. You did not bind it. You were waiting for this person. And instead of you canceling the, man, the prophecy, you came to the social media to manipulate, to make the enemy, to use this, your prophecy, to manipulate against the, the innocent. And you are still coming outside to tell us that I said it. You did not say it. You caused a problem. And you are still causing more havoc. It's better you hold on to your prophecy. Don't say it out. It won't work. Yes, don't put it into the ears of the bad, the evil. Don't put it into the ears of the devil so that he won't use it to manipulate against anybody. Vision seers, prophecy prophesies. Please, God chose you these things to pray, not to come out in the social media to announce it. It is people's privacy. So, like fans, we should all learn. We should all learn. You see these pastors, prophecy, we should be very careful. Be very careful. Some people know how to see, they don't know how to pray. They know how to saw, they don't know how to, they don't know how to pray. So we should be very, very careful. When somebody tells you that he sees a vision for you, let that person begin to bind, cancel, reject that prophecy. And if that prophecy come to pass, that person should be held responsible. So that them, when they are seeing the vision, next time they will still be telling God, God, cancel it all. I can't give this message. I can't all. cancel this, this thing. I don't want it to come to pass. Because a lot of people are causing problems. They don't know the cause problem. So like fans, I want to end this video here. If you know you've not subscribed, please subscribe. And for those my subscribers, may the light of God shine in your life in Jesus' name. I know this video is a bit long and many people will not like to watch it. But this is a video very educative for all Christians, Muslims, spiritualists, traditionalists. So I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.